Many metabolic processes in the body produce unwanted substances as well as useful ones. The waste products need to be removed from our body to keep us healthy. Pharmacists like Sarah can keep an eye on the levels of these products present in our blood to make sure that our kidneys and other organs are working effectively to keep us healthy and that the medications that we take are safe for us to use. Let's take a closer look at our kidneys and how they filter the blood. Our kidneys are made up of several parts. The innermost part of our kidney is called the medulla and this is surrounded by the cortex. The urine created by the filtration of our blood is collected by the wide part at the top of the ureter which is called the pelvis. The urine is collected and is funneled into the rest of the ureter. The filtration units of our kidneys are called nephrons and they are positioned across the cortex and the medulla. Each of our kidneys contain around a million nephrons. Filtration of the blood happens in the nephron, but how does this work? Our renal arteries branch off to a series of small arterioles which carry our blood to a ball of capillaries called a capillary knot. The arteriole that enters the capillary knot has a larger diameter than the arteriole that leaves it. This generates high pressure within the capillary knot and facilitates the process of ultrafiltration. The high pressure causes the liquid part of the blood, which contains water, urea, salts and glucose, to be forced out of the capillary knot and into the Bowman's capsule. Bigger molecules, such as proteins and blood cells, can't pass through the membranes and are not forced out. The filtered liquid moves from the Bowman's capsule to the tubule. As the liquid flows along the tubule, useful substances are reabsorbed. All the glucose is selectively reabsorbed, which means it is moved back into the blood against a concentration gradient. Sufficient salts are reabsorbed and sufficient water is reabsorbed according to the level of the hormone ADH. Whatever isn't reabsorbed, for example urea, excess water and excess salts, forms urine and continues out of the nephron via the collecting duct. It then passes into the ureter and down to the bladder for storage until it is excreted through the urethra. Hmm. <laughs>